In Saxon Course 2, Lesson 94, is the probability of dependent events. So a dependent event is a probability that is influ influenced by a prior event. So in this case, I will be pulling marbles from a bag. And I have two red marbles, three white marbles, four blue marbles. Okay, so if one marble is drawn and not replaced, and then a second marble is drawn, what is the probability that both marbles will be red? Okay, so the second draw is dependent on the first one. So remember, your probability is going to be your outcome over your total. So what you want over the total number of things. So this one for my first draw, I have two red marbles over the nine marbles total in my bag. So now I've drawn out one red marble. So this red marble is no longer in the bag, so I'm going to erase it. For my second draw, I want to draw a red marble again, but this time there's only one red marble and there's a total of eight marbles in my bag. Okay, And then to find the total probability is I have to take these two probabilities and multiply them together. Okay, So I end up with 2 over 9 times 8 which is 72, which is equal to 1 36th. Okay, so the probability of pulling a red marble two times is 1 36th. Okay, so another one. Two cards are drawn from a regular shuffled deck. What's the probability of drawing two aces? So again, we're going to have our first card, our first draw, and our second draw. So there are four aces in a deck and there are 52 cards total. So my first draw I have the 4 out of 52 chances to get to draw an ace and that's equal to 1 13th. Okay so the second draw I have drawn one of those aces so now there's only three aces left in the deck. So and instead of being 52 cards there's only 51 cards left. So the second draw I have 3 out of 51 chances of drawing an ace, which is equal to 1 17th. Now to find the total probability of getting an ace both times, we're going to multiply 1 13th times 1 17th, which is equal to 1 over 221. Okay, and that's it for this lesson.